What is my next step? Where is my home? Friends, where are you? I'm so lonely. When I will feel truly happy the next time? Who am I? I'm Kaita. I'm 21, and I feel so fucking alone in this world. So I'm from Ukraine, by the way. The thing is not about me being a Ukrainian refugee. The thing is about this feeling of absolute emptiness, just feeling lonely, feeling lost. I got kicked out out of my home by Putin. I don't want to talk about Putin. I was chilling the last three years in the capital of Ukraine and I had all my friends there, parties, but now a lot of my friends moved out. They just escaped the city because it's so dangerous in Kyiv. I have been in Europe for three months. Literally for the last like three months was lying in the bed, not productive, reading the news with the thoughts, oh fuck, how grateful I am to be alive, checking that my dear people are alive. That's shitty to get used to the war, but you have no other way out. The feeling that I have now as a refugee, I think could be compared to this scene from Nemo. I feel that I will find my home and I feel like I will come back to Ukraine. War was very bright sparkle for realizing that I'm adult. I don't think life will ever get easier. I have to survive, I have to take care of myself. Recalling these moments when you could always be just in your country and feel like at home. I really, really like talking to my people, Ukrainian people. I finally figured out what it's like to be among international cultures. Like, if you feel that people around you just irritating you and you want some fresh uh, sip of adventure, just try living in Europe, especially in some big capital like Berlin. It's just like never-ending adventure. I lost my friends. I never complain about my friends not dedicating to much time to me because I know myself that I don't dedicate too much time to I think some people because I think everyone is just so immersed into their own world and their own trouble and perception of this new reality. Before war I had so many people to hang out but now I feel so alone. I just don't feel such a deep connection with almost no one in my surrounding that I used to have. Distance just sucks. I started to try to figure like out what can I learn from this loneliness and I thought that it's just like such a time in my life when I have to just be more focused on myself. Oh, I need to live my life to the fullest. You need to live your every day like it's your last day. It's definitely true, but you really have to admit at some point that maybe at this period of your lifetime all you need is just that you become your best friend to yourself. I looked yesterday in the mirror. I can do this now. Hi, that's you. I'm looking at myself. I like the way I look now. Oh my goodness. I'm just trying to perceive myself like a separate person. I'm looking at this girl and I realized that this is the girl that always has been with me when I needed. When I was in the very shallow, this girl was there always. She always pulled out me. She's a girl. I can touch her boobs. That's pretty nice. I have to admit that this period of my lifetime should not be about partying, but about just building like this foundation for my career, for my future, for my success. Uh, success you know just being balanced being healthy be able to pay for traveling to do sport to read books i was like partying really badly for like the last two years and now it's really hard to admit that oh my god i have to be this adult that is taking care of themselves that is earning money turning into this girls like that have the super cool routine reading meditation sport and so on and i am already such a girl but i've also liked going to parties and just dancing but now i need to take some steps that my future self will say thank you for I understand that if today I'm doing sport and if tomorrow I'm doing sport and if yesterday I did sport, when I'm gonna be 50, if I'm gonna be 50, I will just look back and say, fuck, Katya, you were super cool, smart, young woman. Thank you, bro. Covid didn't give me such effect of isolation as war. Kick into my ass that made me go to other country, that made me stay and live in other country to register here officially and just spend my lonely days here in Europe. I really trusted life with what it's bringing to me and now I finally got to decide what to do with my life. No one else should do it. In the end I want to say that 
I'm lucky. I'm lucky to be alive. I'm lucky to be in safety. I'm lucky to experience new culture, new country. Even though it's all very complicated in some way, I'm grateful that I kind of was pushed to figure out what I'm gonna do in my life finally. Because when I was in Ukraine, I was like in a very safe bubble and now I'm in such an unsafe bubble because you don't have, you know, a chance just to chill around. You just have to decide what every minute of your life is dedicated to. I miss my home a lot. I miss, of course, the feeling that I had when I was at home, but also I, I miss old times. That's the point, like, if I would come now to Ukraine back, I don't think I would be happy because war affected just this perfect life that I that we had we just had nice Ukraine ecosystem growing seeing some perspectives you can say that people were pretty happy in Ukraine but now everyone is like living with little fear really just really taking care of themselves and their family the sun is setting down I'm happy that you were with me I want to say that if you feel like now that you are lost you are unsure try to make the next step. I'm sure that you have a lot of ideas what you can do in your life. Try just to make this little step to like your dreams, to your perfect life. I now have to move to Berlin. I have to start my career as a videographer with having zero videos in my portfolio. I have to learn German better. I have to apply to some university or to some film school to study. And I have to do this all alone. But that's also good news. I will do this all alone because it's my choice and I just decided how to do this all. You know, this video is just like crazy self reflection, monologue, psychotherapy. I'm waiting, I'm waiting till the war will end, until I will come back to Ukraine, meet all my friends, so we can just have fun together. I hope focus was okay. If not, Katya, thank you for a nice self-reflection. Please, guys, uh, subscribe to my channel, put a little thumbs up, uh, and just click on the bell. I can just be your good friend in YouTube here. I'm very, very happy to be able to share my story and i will be very happy to listen to your stories for today that's all i hope to see you next videos thank you